My name's Greg Weidler. Um, I run a business called Shout Media in Mascot with a business partner, Adam. Got the Sabi. I think it might have been a bit of a love affair when we first sort of stepped on it and just saw its, its refinement and, you know, obviously it comes with a reputation. And um, But yeah, for me, it was just the, the layout and, and, and the quality of finish. And yeah, my partner in crime is uh, Missy. She's uh, she's down here with us enjoying the, the few days of the testing. And um, yeah, she's an avid fisher girl and just loves being out in the water a lot herself. So good fun. Look, it's uh, classified as 21 feet. It's, um, it's got a uh, 200 litre tank on it. I think it's got a dry weight of around the 1900 uh, kilo mark. Uh, I think they've come a long way uh, from what they used to be. They're still quite boxy, but they used to have these big bulging sides, big hips on the sides, and just wasn't my style boat. But now I'd, I'd probably consider buying one. You, you struggle to get it out of the water. It was, yeah, unbelievable really, so. It's the foam-filled um, hull as well. It, it, it had a different sound to all the other boats. I had a cat years ago, you know, it's a three and a half tonne boat. These things are nowhere near the weight of that. But it reminded me of that, the way that when you put it into a turn, it sat flat. It didn't pitch, it didn't dig in. It was on rails, it travelled very nicely. And um, it's, it's a thing that gives you confidence as well. Not as sprightly as other boats, but certainly a nice, safe, comfortable feel. And, uh, certainly was well balanced, it, it travelled well, it sat well in the water and a nice boat to look at in the water. It just pushed through everything and uh, yeah, just, I love the stability of that. Uh, so that, that would be my pick. The other boats, you, you certainly felt the slapping. Uh, yeah, didn't feel it in Stabby. The Stabby was quite well thought out in every aspect. The built-in live bait tank with, was part of the structure of the stern, which only adds strength to it and another thing it's not going to break loose in you know when it's banging banging around in a, in a rough environment there's cutting boards on top to form the lids for the live bait tank it was split down the middle so you could put bait on one side get a live out the other side which you can't do on a lot of lot of tanks it's very frustrating just little things like that all the way through it were great and even the bait station the bait station is really nice baby has got fold down steps at the back that double as a seat so that you can go through to the stern quite easily. They fold up, they lock well, they're not hard on the hands to, to open and shut. The, uh, the cabin bulkhead that uh, has got is moulded with the footrests into it, they're not welded on as an afterthought. So when they've done their, their panels, they've actually gone to the effort to, to design them and, and, and fold them in and then weld it all up as a, as a unit, which really shows as a great thought. And you see that all the way through the design of the boat. Plenty of room, um, the dash was well configured, um, plenty of fishing room in the back. Is there anything I would change? The, the steering wheel position for me, I'm a tall guy, I'm about 6'2", so you know it's a touch low and, and the throttle position sort of works with that, it was a little low for myself but uh, other than that there's uh, you know the, the water uh, intake or taps for all the hoses and stuff you have to sort of get on your tummy or down to the back of the boat and open a few lids to turn that on. So I'd um, definitely be um, going after the Staby craft. The layout, the boat overall, the handling, um, it, it, it just looks like a tank on the water too. So, If I was choosing to look at another boat, I really like the Staby craft. It's very solid. I think what a lot you pay for is, is the fact that it's solidly built. You feel pretty comfortable in that. You got a hundred grand, where's, where's your money at? My money's in the Stabie, for sure. The you're, a, you're a Stabie whore from way back though. <laughs> oh, get fucked. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> they, just, they just can't beat them. The Arrow pontoons, it just makes the most stable boat. It's like driving a pontoon that actually cuts through the water. It's amazing. To be honest, two small girls at home, the wife, the Stabie craft would be absolutely perfect boat. Feel really safe in that boat. It was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a, a good choice. <laughs>